I'm about to show you how to set up a Gmail account from scratch. I'm doing this on my PC, but this process will also work if you're doing it on a phone. First of all, you need to open up a web browser and do a search on the word Gmail. The first result you get should be the Gmail website private and secure email at no cost. Click into it and it'll bring you to a page where you can start creating the account. Your page might look different depending on how old this video is, but there should be a button that says create an account. So click on it. This is where you enter your name. The first name is required, but the last name is not. Some people like to use fake names here, but if this is gonna be your primary email address, you might as well use your real name. Then hit next. Here you're gonna enter your birth date and gender, then hit next. Now you need to nail down the wording of the email address that you wanna have. It's gonna give you a couple of suggestions using the information you've already given it. It'll put your name in those suggestions right there. And a lot of people might be uncomfortable with that. If you don't want to use those suggestions, you can create your own Gmail address by clicking the dot beside it. And then this field is where you want to make up an email address. It already has the at gmail.com part on it and you just need to fill in the front part. You have to make up one that someone else is not currently using and that might be kind of hard since there's millions of accounts. I'm going to suggest Dreamcast and I'm going to hit next. It says this username isn't allowed. It could be that it's too short. So I'm going to change it to Dreamcaster and it's telling me that someone has already used that one. You might end up getting that message over and over again as you keep trying to guess one that's not been taken. It'll probably help if you add some numbers in there. I decided to make it longer and add all kinds of numbers to the end. This one actually gets accepted because it moves to the next screen. Whatever email address that you got it to accept, you want to to write it down immediately before you forget it. Here you need to create a password and you need to type in that password twice. It's hiding it as I type it, but on your end, if you wish to see it so that you don't make a mistake, you can click this box that says show password. You wanna write this password down so that you don't forget it. It says to create a strong password with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. I'm adding a bunch of random letters. Some of them are uppercase, some are lowercase. I'm adding a few numbers and I added some exclamation marks and some question marks in there. That's what's considered a strong password. Click next and it'll check to make sure you have met the minimum qualifications. If you didn't, it'll tell you that you need to add more to the password. But in my case, it accepted it the first try. Here you can specify a another email address if you want if you actually have one. In case there's a problem and you get locked out of this new email account that you're creating, you can work to get that password recovered using a secondary email address. I am going to do this part, but you don't have to. You can say skip here if you want. Whether or not you selected next or skip, you are brought to this screen. Here you can add a phone number for pretty much the same reason as adding an email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in and hit next. And if you did specify a phone number, you have to click send on this screen and then what it's going to do is send you a six digit verification code on your phone as a text message. Here's what it looks like on my phone and uh, it has a G in front of it, but that G is already on the screen. So I'm just gonna type in the numbers beside it and I'm gonna click verify. Here it's gonna ask if you can use my phone number for other things uh, like receiving video calls and stuff like that. I'm gonna select skip. Here it's gonna show a summary of all the information I've given it. This is another change chance to write down the email address if you haven't already. And if you're happy with everything, hit next. This is where Google specifies what it uses your information for. If you click on more options, there's a lot of other stuff it talks about. But the bottom line is you need to either agree to this or cancel it. I'm gonna click I agree. It'll bring you to the homepage of your email account. You have the inbox and the sent box out to the side and all that stuff. And uh, you are ready to begin receiving and sending emails using this new email address. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button if you can, and that way it'll find its way to more people. Thank you and have a great day.